right this is nifty and daily chart now i can see today uh, nifty just giving a correction now most of the people are asking me sir uh, will it continue to the downside uh, let me show you something here so what is the market rule so suppose somewhere here this is the resistance line once price break this resistance line somewhere there price will always give a pullback all right price never goes like a straight line so everybody knows so once price break this resistance line they create a new high and after that they are giving a pullback towards support now it's becoming a support all right let me show you something here what is the support now so in that case i'm gonna draw a supporting zone go to here okay now i can see this is the higher point have you seen this one higher point and this is the lower point so here now i can see this is the previous higher point have you seen this price hit and this is the higher point and i connected and you can see this is the lower point now this area called a supporting zone all right so it is a probability to enter in this area all right so most of the people are thinking can i go for short no we can't go for short we are looking for short after breaking this level uh level of one four five eight uh, zero somewhere there and this is the supporting zone last point all right so once price break this supporting zone so definitely we will go for short but not now so it is a probability to bounce from this supporting zone so that is why we are looking for buy let me show in a small time frame and let's jump to h1 chart now what we have seen h1 chart i can see price was creating lower low lower high and the lower low lower high and the lower low now i can see price not able to create a new lower low and they form a lower sorry higher high that was previous a lower low now i can see price broke this a lower low and create a new lower high somewhere there have we seen so after that price just given a pullback and this is the supporting zone have you seen this is called supporting zone this is the supporting zone it is a probability to bounce again from this area so remember why because they are creating a new higher high it may it may be a lower uh, i can say higher low all right so it may be all right okay now let's see today's uh, top gainer first here you can see gale top gainer gale upl grasim itc bajaj finance tata motors tata still let's see this uh, four to five stocks and the first one gale let's jump to gale yeah this one gale okay now i can see gale uh this is a daily chart and gale are running in an uptrend they are creating higher high higher high and the higher high means uptrend now let's see after creating a new higher high price given a correction so this is called correction all right so you can say pull back now let me draw a horizontal supporting line by connecting not exactly this one let me connect this point and then let's see here that uh, that was a resistance line price hit and reverse after that finally the broke price create a new high pull back act as a support create a new high and pull back act as a support now today here i can see uh price just trying to break this 50 moving average so we are looking for buy after breaking this level of uh 137 all right 137 137 so once price break this level so definitely we will go for buy 
and uh, we are expecting the price will retest this previous high point very soon. So if you have seen a small time frame like H1 or 15 minute whatever, uh, it will look like different chart. Now you can see price still running a downtrend in a small time frame and trying to break this 200 exponential moving average. So we need a breakout this 200 exponential so definitely we will go for buy and then next one UPL so as I said yesterday UPL let's jump to UPL okay and the UPL uh, yeah, as I said yesterday we was looking for uh, breakout all right in in this area we was looking for uh, sorry we are uh, using breakout trading strategy so let's jump for intraday like 15 minute or whatever you can say like five minute whatever so this is a five minute and then I can see this is a pure breakout candle somewhere there and uh, that is our entry point so in that case we are using breakout trading strategy and if you not see uh, most of the people are thinking hey can I go for buy right now somewhere there so definitely here you can see we are looking for buy near or you can say above this supporting line all right so we need a bullish confirmation somewhere there okay let's see another stocks uh, what is another stock Grassim let's just jump to Grassim Grassim. Okay, and I can see Grassim just uh, create a new higher high, but price are too far from moving averages, so I'm not interested to take any position in Grassim. All right, so I'm not interested to take any position. Uh, next one, ITC. ITC Indian Tobacco Corporation uh, ITC okay now I can see ITC ITC is strong support this is a strong support price was rejecting again and again rejecting rejection have you seen and we are looking for buy somewhere there and we booked our profit now price pull back and this is the another buy opportunity so we are expecting the price will create a new high very soon and the last one let's see last one uh Bajaj finance is uh, too high stock price nine thousand something let's go to tata motors Tata Motors. Okay, Tata Motors. Here you can see uh, price given a pullback, but I'm not interested to take any position here. Okay, and if you not seen small time frame. Okay, so I'm not interested to take any position in Tata Motors. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you like this video, please like and subscribe and uh, thanks for watching.